Hey guys, it's me, Princess Hoppy Pink here. I'm here to show you my mini zoo in my bedroom. As you can see, I've got lots and lots of animals and different different types of animals right here. So I'm going to give you a tour of them. Let's start with this shelf from bottom to top. At the bottom here, we've got Jeremy and Poppy. These are the biggest tarantulas in the world. These are the Theraposa blondies tarantulas um, or the Goliath birdies tarantulas. So this is Jeremy and this is Poppy. At the next uh, shelf, as you can see, there's a lot of different sizes and shapes of enclosures and tarantulas. In these little pots, these are spiderlings because they've got small enclosures. These um, have different shapes because the substrate is up to there and that one is to there. One's a boreal and one's a fossor fossorial. One lives up high, one lives down in the ground. Then on the next shelf, we have um, curly t we have curly tops. That's the curly hair tarantula. And in this enclosure, we have the salmon pink bird eater. Isn't she beautiful? On the next shelf, it's a bit different because we have snails and a mixture of different tarantulas again. The snail's home never get, never stays clean because they like to climb up on the walls and just mess the enclosure up all the time. There's one of the snails having some lunch. Munch, munch, munch. If you're wondering what those little tiny bugs are, they are springtails. They um, help get rid of mould and the leftover food. Um, on the top shelf, we have arboreal tarantulas. These tarantulas actually up high. Um, these tarantulas are arboreal. Um, here is one tarantula. You can see its red fangs. Look how beautiful. On this shelving unit, we have a mixture of animals. We have animals' eggs, stick insect eggs, leaf insect eggs, and leaf insect eggs. So then we have Mexican red leg. The this is the Brazilian be blue be beauty, and we have a pink toe. On the next shelf, we have fossorial tarantulas, which means they've dug burrows. And have, have you seen how good they've dug a burrow? We've got a mixture of tarantulas again. I don't handle tarantulas many uh, that often, but if I do want to handle them, I would obviously go for this girl. So what we're going to do, test her temperament with a paintbrush and see how she is. She's obviously going to be calm, I can tell. See? Very calm from this girl. What I do is I just carefully scoop, scoop her up when I think she's very calm. See how adorable she is? Tarantulas don't gain anything from this. Like I said, I don't handle them often because um, they don't really gain anything. But this is how beautiful she is. Let's put her back because we don't want to stress her out. Come on, let's go, Ruby. Here are some more tarantulas. This is Dopey. This is a curly hair. On the next shelf is my favourite shelf of all. It's because my first ever beautiful favourite tarantula is on it. And this one is Harriet, a Mexican red knee or a Brachypalm Hamori. She was my first ever tarantula. I got her when I was seven. I am now eight. Then on the top shelf got an arboreal tarantula. Then we got some other tarantulas up there. And another arboreal up there. Time for the snakes. This one is Lizzie. She's very feisty. And then on the bottom one, we've got the friendly George. We can get him out because he's very friendly. He's probably under here. Oh, look at him. He's adorable. Hello. This is George. He's a royal python. Look how beautiful his colorations are. Let's put him back now. We don't want to stress him out because he was just sleeping. 
There you go. Go back to sleep, Georgie Poo. Up here we have cockroaches and millipedes and some ice pods in there and some baby snails up there. As you can see, I've got a lot of animals and every week we make sure we spend a few hours with them, feeding them, watering them and making the enclosures look nice and presentable. It's something I really, really enjoy doing, just helping animals and just looking after them. I just love them. We got uh, snails and tractors, snakes, cockroaches and millipedes and snails. Uh, others and you i wasn't lying when i said i've got a mini zoo at the start was i hope you enjoyed this horror of my zoo that i like to call it and i always have plans to make it bigger hope you guys liked this video if you did smash that like button and subscribe button and that bell button ding and we'll see you all next time goodbye